At Worcester Bosch, the project team is taking preventative maintenance to a new level by harnessing the power of 5G to monitor machine health in real time. XDK sensors are used to detect and record machine manufacturing related measurements, including temperature, pressure and vibration. This data is then interrogated against predefined limits and the engineer is alerted if the machine comes close to these, giving the engineer the opportunity to act before any critical failures take place. We had an XDK which was USB wired to a PC. Uh, the PC would have then connected via Ethernet to a network. Um, which then obviously involves a lot of infrastructure to install. With just an XDK and a 5G modem, we 3D print a bracket, mount the XDK to the bracket and then onto the machine, and then there's just a, a wired power cable. By using 5G, we're minimising the infrastructure we need. The team has attached XDK sensors to machines across the factory. This information is then sent via a 5G modem to a server where it can be accessed from any remote location. With us being able to monitor the condition of the machines through the XDK, we're able to understand if there's something wrong with the machine, so if a vibration level might be out or if a temperature might be too high on a bearing or a motor, we can react pretty quickly and get our engineers and technicians to go down and take a look at the machine. They will be able to spot an issue and remedy that before the machine breaks down and stops us producing boilers. The sensor sends data across the 5G network in real time. It can be accessed remotely from any location and multiple sensors can be added to the network, providing the team with an unprecedented amount of data. The real-time element of the use case allows our engineers and technicians to observe and see an issue with a machine or a piece of equipment as soon as it happens really. So rather than say if we had a, a, an hour or a delay or a week delay, our engineers are reacting to a problem that's already happened and that machine might have already crashed or failed before we've had a chance to, to remedy the problem on it. So the real-time element allows us to react in real time in the factory environment.